What's up guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to learn from engineering for market research. And we're going to utilize Flow GPT again. And you might be wondering why you always use Flow GPT. Well, the answer to that question is actually very simple. Um, just this is the platform with the most uh, promise available here. That's the reason why I'm very comfortable using this uh, tool, all right? So I'm just gonna type in market research like this. All right, so just type in market research and you have like four different options here. I'm going to go with the first one, market research and analytics for businesses. So as you guys can see, uh, the problem is very complex here, right? Uh, present to be MRI, GPT or market research and analytics chatbot whose sole goal is to help corporations identify and pander to their client. All right, so I'm not going to read uh, every single sentence here. It's going to make the video very long. So I'm just gonna click send. All right, so now as you guys can see, ChatGPT is uh, running our prompt. So please be patient. All right, cool. Practical money management and how to invest in your company model research mode. Describe your company and the boat will identify three major groups of clients, logical deductions, specialized majority, um, lay people man majority and minority. Analysis mode. Um, Describe who represents it ca its category of people. All right, so I'm just going to tell um, ChatGPT like my uh, main business. All right, so I'm going to tell ChatGPT like what is the industry that I'm involved with. So yeah, um, I'm just going to type in e-commerce uh, business, specifically selling um, below. All right, so that's uh, my business that I want this bot to analyze. All right, cool. So ChatGPT is now generating a new response for us. I don't know yet if ChatGPT is going to provide us with the data insights or maybe still going to ask a couple of questions to get more information. All right, cool, cool. Uh, as you guys can see, now ChatGPT has generated us the um, market research data i think it's going to be very valuable insight so all right we're just going to wait until ChatGPT is done generating this response okay cool so apparently uh ChatGPT is done so yeah research mode uh pillows are houseable items so people interested um in home accessories and their design will be interested in this product therefore ms uh, pillows are also a necessity for sleeping. Okay, so it seems that this product has a pretty high demand in the market. So people who have value a good night, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, people who value a good night sleep and comfort will be interested. Pillows can also have uh, therapeutic benefits such as neck and back supports or relief from allergies. So people with specific health concerns or needs will be interested. Okay, so they also kind of break down. Um, our potential uh, customers for our products. So I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit to show you the table here. Majority specialized, interested in home accessories and enter designs. Majority lay people, values, good night sleeps and comfort. Minority have specific health concerns or need related to pillow. All right, so what even better, they also have a to-do list and also things that you need to avoid. So the to-do list that we need to do to maybe increase our sales, over a wide variety of pillow types to cater to different health concerns and sleep preferences. All right, so that's one of the uh, advices that this bot gave us. Right, provide detailed product descriptions and customer reviews to convince lay people majority over limited editions or designer pillows to track specialized majority over a subscription service for a regular pillow replacement to ensure customer health needs are met. Offer promotional discounts and model deals to encourage customers to purchase multiple pillow at once. Offer a loyalty program to incentivize customers to return. Can you imagine like the quality of the answer given? It's very close to like actual business consultant, right? So that's amazing. And also things that we need to avoid. Uh, use low quality materials or, or promote cheap and effective pillows. All right, so uh, these are the lists that we need to avoid, right? They actually also break down um, those to-do lists and also things that we need to avoid in this table. So it's going to be easier for us to um, 
take a look and you know do our analysis before making our um, business decision so yeah um, definitely to be honest with you this problem is actually very powerful um, if you have your business and you might want to get um, consultations with this bot just use this prompt guys it's going to help you a lot right it's definitely a very valuable business consultations with chat gpt even though this is not the actual um business consultant all right so i'm not talking to like real business consultant but the quality of answer provided is very close or maybe if not better than you know the real business consultant right so yeah um i think that's it that's all you need to know i'll see you guys in the next video where we go we're going to uh learn how to generate prompt for um uh, industry trend right so it's always important for you to uh, pay very close attention to industry trend uh, making sure that your business or your business decision is still relevant to, to current trends on the market right always keep in mind um paying close attention to uh today's trend is very essential to make sure that your business uh still grows and also um competitive right so yeah i think that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next video bye what's up guys welcome back to the course in this video we're going to learn um still the same thing from engineering for market research but in this video we're going to concentrate more on industry trend right so i'm just gonna type in industry trend that's it and just gonna pick the one here that says industry trend predictions all right so as you guys can see you can customize uh, the industry so let's say uh, you are selling chocolate bar right so just type in chocolate bar and that's it just gonna click send so now we're going to run uh, the chat gpt prompt All right, so cool. So now ChatGPT is generating the response. Uh, this is like the industry trend predictions for chocolate bar introductions. The chocolate bar industry is a multi-billion uh, dollar industry that has been growing consistently over the years. Chocolate bar are a popular snack among people of all ages and the demand for high quality chocolate bars, well, it moves really fast. So I need to scroll back up, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. Um, all right, so chocolate bars are a popular snack. Well, I need to scroll back up again. I'm sorry, guys. It moves really fast. Um, chocolate bars are a popular snack among people of all ages, and the demand for high-quality chocolate bars has been on the rise. In the industry report, we will analyze the latest trend, relevant news, and significant companies in the chocolate bar industry. So um, significant companies uh, is going to be like the major player in the market right so market size as you guys can see here uh the market size was valued at 130 billion in 2020 so this is from 2020 and it's expected to grow at 4.6 percent from 2023 to 2028 so um that's definitely a good number so it really indicates that this product still has a high demand and still projected to um, to be a high demand product in the market right considering this number 4.6 percent so yeah guys um that's how you do um industry trend uh predictions using this prompt definitely this is very uh, powerful prompt to use all right you can feel free to customize it um with whatever industry that you are involved with right so i just use chocolate bar as an example i don't really sell a chocolate bar to be honest with you so yeah guys that's how you uh utilize this uh, amazing tool um, definitely if you want to uh, use this prompt on chat gpt you can do it just copy and paste it on chat gpt and feel free to you know change this part uh, replace this part with you know whatever products or service that you're selling right so yeah um, i think that's it for industry uh, trend predictions i'll see you guys in the next video we're going to uh, learn prompt engineering for uh, languages all right so i'll see you guys there